Vegeta's worst ass whoopings. Let's see how bad Vegeta got his ass whooped, bro. Oh yeah, I remember this one. That nigga arm. Oh damn. Y'all remember this, this is a meme. This man is built like he costs eight elixir. <laughs> what the fuck is this giga nigga? Vegeta is cooked, bro. Like this nigga Goku is casually throwing hands with this motherfucker. Yeah. All of a sudden, this Mickey D's hairline having ass nigga pops up out of nowhere. Like, what the dog doing? Stand back, Kakarot. <laughs> I demand you show me your barber. No, Vegeta. There's no way you can handle that nigga. Damn, I'd really steal your bit. This man is literally mashing his controller as hard as possible. And Jiren's hands aren't even up. Ain't no way this man's supposed to be the prince of all Saiyans. All right, so listen. This man Ula takes me and told me he was getting cooked for saying Jiren's name wrong. That nigga kind of did say that horribly. As hard as possible. And Jiren's hands aren't even up. Ain't no saving that nigga, bruh. I ain't think it was that bad. Ain't no way this man's supposed to be the prince of all Saiyans. <laughs> Damn, man. This nigga is trash. So Jiren better <laughs> send this nigga to meet Pop Smoke. When Goku comes up running, ready to save this nigga once again like the big daddy he is. Man, I feel bad for Goku. What was that picture? He's running and Jiren hits him with that gummo gummo no Gatling. Sent this dude flying like, bro, y'all cannot handle this nigga at all. I'm the prince of all Saiyans. Oh, you not, little nigga. I got this. Look at this dude's face. He, he really ate wants this fist. ass whooping. Jiren he grabs his ass, starts twirling around like a fucking ballerina, and flings him like a newborn baby. This nigga is crazy. Yo, Ula is crazy as hell, bro. He grabs his ass, starts twirling around like a fucking ballerina, and flings him like a newborn baby. Nigga, it's 2023. That shit ain't funny no more. Why is this dude jumping back in? Like, how you get disrespected that bad and you're still trying to fight? Jaren's like, nigga, is you dumb? And he runs it back, but Vegeta starts smiling. Let him cook now. We, let him we, cook. Okay. We, we, we. we. Oh, nothing. Nah. Look at how bro is nothing. standing. Your ass is not That's... in the edit. Y'all, look at Jiren close. Oh, this man ain't That's even Conan. in pain. He's just surprised Conan. Vegeta's Conan. weak Conan. ass managed Conan. to hit him. So now Vegeta's actually putting up a fight. Look at this man's face. He looks like he's having a fantastic time. This is why people hit on Dragon Ball, bro. Where did Vegeta get this invisible power up? He Loki got Jiren stressing. At this Damn. rate, Vegeta might be stronger than Goku. Really, nigga? Shut the wrong, fuck up. Did I knock the waves off of your fat ass head? Man, uh. <laughs> Take this. Damn! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, my nigga! <laughs> Barris, what I said. He's no match for Jaren. He's fucking ass. Just a look at him. His fat ass is breathing heavy as shit. His armor broken into pieces like his wretched planet. And you call him a prince. Give me a break. Your universe is doomed, nigga. Doomed. After that brutal. He thought their universe was doomed. Does he not know we have a Goku? That nigga fights for fun. Hey, it's me, Goku. Like, yo, what? After that brutal last combo, Vegeta just ate. You'd expect to see this man laying on the ground like these, but he's still standing there. He's not even Respect. holding his left arm. This nigga got heart. Vegeta, you good? No, Kakarot. Look at this nigga. Even after that entire combo, his waves are still spinning. <laughs> it's because you're a bitch. What? With too much pride to invest into a barber. And then he uh. goes and gives one of the most goaded speeches I've ever heard in my life. I think when some like <laughs> was that supposed to be insulting? You say I have pride. Man, fuck you. That tight ass spandex you got on. I can't uh -huh. even see your print. No have an ass nigga. Okay. And then he gets his third random ass power up of the episode and starts charging up this final, final flash. flash fatter than Sarah J's ass. And he's all You claim I'm a fraud. I assume that means you'll stand there and eat this blast. Okay. Final flash! <laughs> Yo, every time he uses move, it never works. <sighs> Did I get him? Man, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> so Vegeta's all happy until... Huh? <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, don't kill me. GG's. G fucking G's. Flawless victory. Fatality. Did the motherfucking voice editor say Jiren? Jiren wins flawless victory. That nigga Fatality. killed me. That was really him. 18 got that Rihanna oh. forehead on deck, but this time she's about to do the ass whooping. And this other nigga staring off in the distance like he's off a perk or some shit. Whoa, 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 <laughs> hold on, bro. Let me get this part real quick. All right, go so ahead, they start ahead. running the fade and shit. 
and then 18 throws a punch, missing, mm -hmm. and gets her ass thrown to the wall. She sits on that shit like Spider-Man, and man, she want to be in the next Spider-Verse movie so bad. Now she's looking down at Vegeta knowing good and well he doesn't stand a chance. It cuts to 16, and that boy is casually sitting there with the shittiest coat I have ever seen in my life. This nigga wanted to pay attention to birds. Bro, I used to like his character though. I ain't gonna lie. He like birds. That's some real shit. Because the 16 and that boy is casually sitting there with the shittiest coat I have ever seen in my life. Vegeta goes in, starts boxing 18, and anytime I see this fight, I just gotta pause. Because Shorty's really out there taking no damage. They stand off against <laughs> each other, and we see the prince holding that big bang attack pose. That's how you know his ass hasn't tasted victory in mad long. Caught a dub with that pose one time, and now he's not letting it go. So Against this truck one driver person. pulls up, probably on his 20th hour in his shift, trying to do his job and go home to his family. But he could kiss those plans goodbye because he gets boomed, and now his ass is spectating. And imagine being killed, and you gotta spectate your murderer, oh and he's just turns around posing at the crime scene. That's just heinous. I don't know who gassed his sorry ass up, but this nigga cannot hang. She need this nigga in the stomach. I just man about to go straight to sleep. I was like, oh no, 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 sweetheart. I'm not done with your bitch ass. You sit your fucking ass down now and eat my pussy. She didn't eat that shit like it was a what fat nigga eating a Big Mac. It said equal rights, equal lefts. This fucker didn't even let Shorty get back up. Hit her with that kaboom, bitch. Then we get a live reaction of three fodder ass niggas plus Piccolo. And when the smoke clears, Shorty is standing there looking mad as shit. You may have the finest robusty I've ever seen, but I'll be damned if I, Vegeta, Prince of All Saiyans, be beaten by a woman. Nigga, it looks like you've already been beaten by your barber. Badly. <sighs> Where's Yo. Goku, little nigga? Yo. We both know he's stronger than you. Kakarot's not stronger than me. Stop the cap. Ah, shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> So Vegeta's still fighting to desperately prove how big his dick is. When Tien starts glazing him like, let her have it, Vegeta. You got this. And 18 just turns around like, does he know? This nigga even had trunks fooled. He really thought his dad was him. It's as I feared. This nigga is ass. But all these two are just straight break dancing. Vegeta tries to get one in, but this bitch just grabs both of his hands and then proceeded to falcon kick this nigga. Damn. I fucked up. So now Vegeta's just sitting here on this rock screaming in pain while Shorty's just over here casually strutting her shit like it's hot girl summer. I don't know what this nigga was trying to do, but he tries to slide tackle her. Look at that vertical. God damn. Fuck is he even doing fighting these niggas, bro? LeBron needs you immediately. Real hot girl <laughs> shit. Had this man stumbling, and then when the slow mo comes in, you know it's over. Vegeta be biting off more than he can chew, bro. Like, yo, you didn't have to do this. He did not have to do this. He be having chances to not do this. And he still be doing dumb shit. Vegeta's arm has never been the same since. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah. And this nigga Chunks has to come in like, oh no, my dada. Swings it. That's why he always grabbing that fucking arm. That's that nigga weak spot. Like, if he was in a boxing match, they'll always hit that arm. Ah. And this nigga Chunks tries to come in like, oh no, my dada. Swings a sword, and that shit literally chipped on her fucking elbow. Like, nigga, did you get that shit from Dollar Store? Then this man, 17, comes with that Donkey Kong spike. Knocked this little nigga out in front of his dad. And now Piccolo and Tien gotta jump in like, Oh, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> Please don't hurt too bad. <laughs> Fuck, I guess I'll try this shit. At Will least you? they not just... Come on, man, why are they choked out? Just knock me out. Just knock me out. <laughs> Why did you fodder ass niggas jump in? Huh? Where do you think you're going? Father! Wait, no, you dumbass! Damn. Y'all, look at these sorry ass niggas they call the Z Fighters. Knock all the asses out. Sweet dreams, nigga. Yo, why does this man <laughs> Vegeta Z always fighters. refuse to take his L in peace, bro? She really would have left his ass alone if he just stayed asleep. You see, now there goes your spine, nigga. Congratulations. Oh. And just because it's hot girl summer, there goes your oh. arm too, buddy. Shake my head. Bro, you're trash, bro. Is them tears, bro? Come on, bro. Gotta get you together, boy. I bet this nigga having flashbacks. <laughs> this nigga having dreams. Nightmares even. Damn, this shit was hard to watch. The prince of all two saints going out like this. Tears before getting your ass beat will forever be crazy. But we gotta understand what he's been through. First off, he convinced himself he was a whole super saiyan. And clearly looking at his ass, that hair is not blonde. But to be fair, no he one knew what that, that shit looked like at the time. He was out there spamming the Zenkai glitch to a point where he believed he was him. But yeah, let's start from the beginning of the fight. Because his ass started earthbending. Out here thinking he's tough and shit. Throws a rock at him and frees a light. I know he didn't really, throw this nigga? weak shit at me. But that was all of distraction i mean that shit didn't work but hey 
It was a distraction though. He moves out the way, but Vegeta chases him down. He easily dodges that shit, looking oh, uninterested as hell. And at this point, I'm like, yeah, bro, somebody ring up Goku. Frieza was out there dodging every attack, and Krillin's dumbass was like, oh wow, Vegeta really has him on the ropes. Shut up, bro. How are you gonna say he's on the ropes when he didn't <laughs> land a single hit? That's called getting cooked. And go on, you're not safe. I see you nodding in agreement. That shit was so dumb that had Piccolo clenching both of his fists. He like, Krillin, shut your bald ass up. Take a good look at this fight. It's clear that he's getting toyed with. Frieza teleports out and look at the prince. What is he smiling about? You can never catch me cheesing after someone dodges 200 of my attacks. That shit is just not happening. He's smiling, looking up like something about to be different, but it wasn't. He still doesn't land a hit, and for his last attack, Frieza disappears. If I'm fighting somebody this long and not landing one attack, I'm quitting. I'm quitting and I'm giving up. I'm about to teleport out of here, bro. I'm not about to keep fighting, bro. As soon as you dodge 10 of my attacks, 10 nigga, that means you just, you just, I'm not qualified for this job. And for his last attack, Frieza disappears. And that right there is just bad IQ. You really thought that slow ass move was about to hit him? No. And this right here gotta be the funniest part. So Frieza starts laughing at his ass. He like, I'm not gonna lie gang, you not a super saiyan. And Vegeta's like, no, <laughs> I am a super saiyan. He was out there sounding like a bitch. He launches a strong ass attack at Frieza. And so Piccolo Yamcha. hyping that shit up like, Nah bro, it's about to destroy the planet. Don't do it to him. Frieza heard that shit and said, Oh nah. Turns into a superhero and saves the planet by kicking that shit right back to him. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where been it mad as fuck. He went through 10 minutes of attacking him, trying mad hard. And now he realizes that he is not him. Frieza is just too strong. And he's also a dickhead because after all that, he hits him with the my turn and bro just starts crying. That boy Frieza started levitating and look at the squad. Once I saw this, I knew they wasn't about to jump in and help him. Piccolo like, yeah, gang, I'm not gonna lie, you on your own. <laughs> Frieza flies to Vegeta, and that boy doesn't block, dodge, or anything. He just gets his ass hit, sending bro flying. And look at this guy Frieza. Bro is just flipping oh. around, trolling his ass with this devious look in his face. This that villain shit, bro. <laughs> he broke fuck? this man mentally, and now he's on some... This the part that I like the most. He sends him into the water and look at him. He probably having that inner dialogue right now. He like, I'm no prince. I'm just fucking ass. Some shit like that. But yeah, Frieza lands, I'm and no he prince. just starts water bending. I don't know what Akira was doing in that lab, but apparently we just giving anybody any type of power. Now boy Goku was able to read minds, Vegeta earth bending, and now Frieza is water bending? I mean, fuck it, I guess. Vegeta's laying on the ground just done with life, and Frieza pulls up on him like, Wake your ass up, monkey. And he's just holding the prince up by his <laughs> hair. Got bro standing like Mr. Crocker. Hold on, I don't like the way he was standing, bro. I, I don't think I like this. I don't think I like the way this looks, bro. It just don't sit with me well. And here we go with more villainry. Bro started devouring the crab. What the crab do? That shit didn't even taste good. And here he is taking another bite, despicable. He punches him forward and makes him eat dirt. And Brody was talking crazy the whole time. He like, yeah, that's why I boomed your shit planet. He violating him like Zuko and the Agni Kai right now. He got the spectators in the back and he calling the prince of disgrace. Yeah, they would be best friends. And oh, nah, why he turned back like that? That is mad heinous. He had to make sure the squad was watching him. And we don't watching, get me bro. started on these two. I'm not fucking with that nigga. Tee up. We can't be leaning back like this off a of glare. Now I understand he could get you gone in an instant, but God damn, you gotta stay in ten toes. Go out with some pride. Bro, if Frieza looked at you like that, would y'all not be scared? Go out with some pride. So the prince gets kicked in the air, and Frieza follows up with five mean elbows to the gut. Like and then after that, he sends bro barreling to the mm. ground. And now I'm convinced bro is more comfortable on the dirt than his own bed. And look what Frieza did to the fit. This shit is unforgivable week. Because we know the Namek armor is one of his best fits. And Facts. for it to be in that condition is just sad. But anyways, let's talk about what happened to the prince. This man Frieza puts his tail around his neck and repeatedly hits him while the squad is right there watching. And Gohan is not safe. Look at him leading to the side. Bro wants a better look. Could at least pretend that you don't want to see it. Damn. <laughs> so after a couple of hits, Frieza turns back and is like, Y'all know y'all could help him, right? Piccolo just like, uh, nah, yeah, nah, we we good. We jumped him a couple weeks back. You'll be alright. <laughs> 